Hi guys and girls, Anna here from Behringer. Are you looking into getting a mixer or an audio interface but you don't know which one is right for you? Today we're gonna have a look at the features and differences between a mixer and an audio interface. Let's check them out! Okay, we'll first have a look at the audio interface. Here we have, just as an example, the Euphoria UMC202 HD, which has two inputs. But you can get audio interfaces with 4, 8, 12 or more channels, depending from your needs. Here you can plug in both XLR for mics and quarter inch jacks for instrument or line level input. This switch here is a great tool if you want to change quickly between line level if you're plugging in a drum machine or a synthesizer and instrument level if you want to engage high Z mode for your guitar or bass. With an audio interface you can record all your channels separately in your DAW. This is good if you are recording different instruments and you want to work in post-production after in your recording software. Let's jump quickly into mixers. I have here a Zenix X2222 USB with a built-in audio interface. That means that I can record directly to my computer without the need of a standalone audio interface. On this mixer, for example, I can adjust for each channel compression, EQ, FX and AUX level and pan. In a certain price range, you get mixers that allow you to record just stereo. That means you can't record your channels individually because your mixer is sending stereo mix to your computer. Plus you will record all the parameters you adjusted on your device without the possibility to undo that on your DAW. Usually when multitrack recording is possible, such as on Flow 8 here, you can record all your channels individually, dry, and apply all the sort of processing you want in your DAW afterwards. So if you are building your home recording studio, you will maybe prefer an audio interface or a versatile mixer such as Flow 8. With an audio interface, you can record your channels individually and do the mix after in your DAW. Plus, audio interfaces give you mic inputs, line and instrument level inputs. Generally, on mixers, you don't get instrument level inputs and this is why you will need then an external DI box. If you need zero latency monitoring, maybe with some processing and or FX on it, you will maybe go for a mixer. So a mixer is indicated for live scenarios, such as sound events, live streams or video conferences, where you want to get the mix straight away. A mixer is suitable also for podcasting, if you don't want to work on sound processing afterwards. So, what's the perfect match for you? See you in the next video! Ciao!